Hi, this is Brian Lai from Malaysia. I'm a lecturer from The One Academy. In this video, I'm going to make high resolution model from our previous blocking model, as well as putting texture on them. We will be covering modeling, UV in Maya, and texturing in Substance Painter. Let's get into it. I have my block scene open, and I'm going to export the water pot only. If you notice, I did not do any blocking of the plant itself back in the first video. It is not worth it to spend our time blocking on things that is tiny and complex organic shape. First thing to do is create a 16 subdivision sphere and match the size of the low resolution geometry. Then extrude the top cap from the edge. Create a flat cap for the bottom surface. This time we are going to detach the cap from the spear. Extrude edge from it to form thickness. Next is to create shell inside the glass spear part. Here I'm using extrude to create the thickness, then reverse face. Select bases and duplicate from there, like how we used to do it back in the coffee and mug lesson. Remember to use transform to shrink your liquid model a little so that it won't create artifacts in the render. For the plants, we are going to start from a long cylinder to make the main branch. And scale the top part smaller so that we can have a sharp tip. Now we are proceeding to the leaves. We can start from a 4x4 plane and use soap selection to deform it. I'm happy with the number 3 smooth preview. Now I can go ahead and raise our subdivision one step higher to create more details. For secondary branches, we are going to model it from the leaves instead of extend from the main branch. So now I'm extending from the root of my leaves. In the reference, I can see in the reference, I can see that smaller leaves tend to have slightly different shapes compared to the bigger ones. So I am duplicating this and make a variation here. Of course, you can make as much variation as you like, but in this tutorial, two should be sufficient. Give them some thickness by using extrude. You want to make sure the secondary branch part is circle instead of square loop. Now we are going to bend the branch for about 90 degrees for both of them. Using soft selection tool to deform the shape based on different angles.
then duplicate both of them and apply final smooth. Place your pivot around the branch and then duplicate and hold V button. Move them to the main root so that it snap quickly. If you hasn't used to snapping in Maya, I highly suggest you to learn and get used to them. Otherwise, you would end up spending hours just to align the secondary branch to the main ones. One tip here. Before you do massive duplicate, UV them first so that the following leaves is going to share the same UV. You can see I'm placing my UV upside down for one of them so that it optimizes the UV tiles better. And now we can do massive duplicate and snap them to the main root. You can always make rotation and scale to create more random looking to make it more convincing. In the reference, you can see the leaves get smaller and crowded grow point as closer to the tip. We are going to mimic that. Then we will UV the water part and rearrange UV tiles for UDEM workflow like we did in the past. So let's fast forward to Substance Painter. In Substance Painter, we are going to import our model. We have a glass object here, so we'll need to change our shader to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. Then go ahead and add an opacity channel under the texture set settings. Start from 3 folder glass, chrome and plant. Create base material for each of them. We already have covered glass and chrome material in the previous videos. So in this video, we will be more focusing in the plant texturing. First, we start by adding red color material and paint its mask on the root, giving some redness in between branches like the reference. It is barely visible in the reference, but don't worry, we are going to reduce the opacity later. Now we can reduce the opacity. Next, we are going to make overall bumps to the leaves. Create a new material and set its height to negative value, and create a black mask along with fill under it. Apply a noisy matte B and W spot tool in it. Now we are going to enhance the color matte by adding darker tone on the bottom part of the leaves. We can paint a basic shape in the mask and apply blur filter to save our time painting nice color for off. Then followed by the brighter tones, I'm using yellow in this case. Paint it mainly on the secondary branches. We can swap it to overlay mode and make a nicer color blend. Next, we are going to do something I call texture sculpting. We first create material with only height channel activated and set it to negative values, then create mask, and we'll paint on top of it. You can now sculpt a straight line by holding shift in between clicks just like Photoshop. And you may use Smudge too, or Blur Filter, to make your scalp look softer and more natural.
having the noise map wasn't good enough. So here we are going to create another height channel on Lee material and apply cell texture to its masking. You will need to adjust your textual repetition and the strength of the bump. Then we are going to add some blur filter to make it look softer. Adding another few stack under our mask, apply BNW spot map and change the texture blending mode to multiply. What this will do is that the BNW spot mask will erase some of the texture on cell 2, giving the entire surface to share different bump values. Then we can add one last pane to exclude the bump from the branch. Then followed by roughness map, adding roughness back and forward between base material and the roughness variation layer. Here I'm making greater contrast so that we can see the roughness vary on the surface. And now I'm adding some darker brown color to the root spot. It is not shown in the reference, but I guess they should be darker at the bottom area. Adding some bump lines on every secondary branches part can make it look more believable. The process should be the same with the sculpting method we just mentioned. I mentioned the importance of the color map in the previous videos. So now we are going to further enhance the color, adding a very subtle color changes to the leaf and brighter tone on the lines we sculpted. I'm applying a very rough map to a new material high channel. This helps us to make more random foldings and natural looking for the leaves. For the chrome and glass bottle, we are adding roughness variation and scratches and add some subtle color changes. We can ignore the water mesh inside the glass. It doesn't really need to be textured. We will apply only shader to it when we are back into Maya session. I will be continuing to further enhance everything, make sure all of them look good from different angle, lighting and distance. Don't worry, what I'm going to do after this video is exactly the same. It is a repeating process to enrich every channel, no big changes or magic trick will be made. Last step in this tutorial is to save your file. We will be discussing how to export this to Maya in the ninth lesson. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.